Today we're going to be having a look at Blackbeard. And as always with these videos, you guys can let me know down below, is this worth a buck? In this case, it was $2, as you can see by the sticker up at the top there, that's a green and yellow sticker that says Dollarama. And that's actually the place I also picked it up. Blackbeard. It looks like a board game, and for the life of me, I can't remember what the game was. Uh, I can't remember what it was. But there was one where you pull, pulled swords out, and I think the pirate popped out the top. It looks like it probably does the exact same thing. It's just a knockoff version of it. But you can hide your bounty in here. You can actually ha keep this as a change, um, as a change bank. On the side, yar! There he goes. Com knocked completely out of that barrel. On the side, oh, on here we go. Hold the barrel with one hand and push the swords in until Blackbeard pops out. Push Blackbeard in down the barrel to play again. Okay, so I guess you have to figure out whoever puts in the last sword that, that has the Blackbeard get knocked out, he loses, and then the other person wins. You can also put push Blackbeard down in the barrel to play again. To open the back, use Blackbeard as a key and twist off the bottom. We're asking a lot out of this pirate. He gets knocked out of this barrel, then we're asking him to open it up so we can get our, our booty inside, our money inside. I think that's asking an awful lot. We got a warning though. Caution, Blackbeard flies out fast. To avoid any injuries, stand back when playing. <laughs> okay, I'll take, that. I'll take that to heart. What I am going to do, I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Blackbeard. You guys can also let me know, is this worth a buck? There's more on the way, guys. Stay tuned. All right, so we have Blackbeard out of package. You can see he is a barrel under, on the underside there. Um, oh, there's the key. Oh, look at that, eh? So you're just going to turn that. Turn that. Oh, did I turn it all the way? I'm going to get the change out here. There is no change in there. I haven't put anything in there yet. And something has fallen out. What do we got here? What do we got going on here? Hold on a second. Bear with me. Spot's just trying to get himself more, get himself fixed here. Okay. So let's put the. That's basically where your change would be if you had change or money. Money and change are the exact same thing. Spot just realized that after he said it. Let's get this closed. Let's get this lined up here. I can tell you one thing that's already wrong with this is the fact that this piece in the in the inside here is on a spring, and uh, it's not it's not leveled. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's get this opened up. Let's get this figured out first. I know you guys are already enjoying this review. Thinking, Spot, what are you doing? Spot, you're just making a mess of yourself. Oh, spotted it the wrong way. Well, I'm a bit concerned with the fact that that... You know what? I'm going to pause the video. Uh, do, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll be, I'll All right, be I back. I think Spot figured it out now. We've got, I put the Blackbeard back into the barrel. We're now going to take these swords here. And even though I am playing essentially by myself here, uh, we're going to basically pretend with the different colors. You get yourself green, you get yourself red, yellow, and down below we also have blue. So we're going to take turns with each color. I would say you guys can place your bets down below as to which one will knock Blackbeard out, but if you've already watched, you'll obviously be watching this video, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to pick yellow, yellow, and meanwhile you've already seen the, the whole video, so. Um, I'm going to start first with red, good old red, and we're going to pop the sword in. We're gonna take yellow, and uh, oh, which one? Which one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down here, down here. And uh, that doesn't even, doesn't even really, doesn't even really stay in there. Oh well. All right, blue, blue. Yellow, unfortunately, is falling out. Blue, I'm gonna put right here. Oh! <laughs> well, we know it worked. Hold on a second, this spot goes and grabs him. 
There we go. Well, he does work, and obviously the spring works incredibly well on this toy. Ah, it's actually a fun game. I mean, again, you know, it'd be more fun if you had friends, but even still, that's a pretty fun game. And then to just keep playing, you pop it back in and you resume. Now, I don't know if it means it would be the exact same spot as it was before. Where was it before? Was it this one here? No. This one. No. Oh, so maybe it actually does rotate when you put the black beard back in. Okay. So it, it does look like it actually turns. I suppose if you look in between these slots here, you could probably make out where where the piece is. Uh, I don't see it. But still a pretty fun game. I mean, it's clearly like a, a cheaper version of, I'm pretty sure, I, I can't remember that game. I, I really can't remember that game. I'm sure if anyone down below remembers the game, they can let me know. I keep wanting to say Don't Wake Daddy, but I know it's not Don't Wake Daddy. That's the one that had the bed and the the bed bugs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let me know down below. Blackbeard. And keep in mind, oh, and also the change you can put in here, your money. I don't know how that would, whether that would interfere with the game or not, but let me know down below, is Blackbeard here worth a buck? It'd probably be fun for a little uh, sleepover party or something like that. There you go. Let me know if this is worth a buck, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.